two trend. Number two trend. That's not English. I just... It drives me crazy. You won't spit up to your name English. You see how angry I am about this? I can't even speak. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with a another Top 5 Wednesday video. Top 5 Wednesday was originally created by Lainey over at Ginger Reads Lainey, and is now run by Sam over on Thoughts on Tom, so I will leave both their links down below as well as the Goodreads group if you guys want to join us for the next topic and whatnot. So without further ado, let us get started! This week's topic is one that I could rant about for a million years and it is supposed to be book trends that you are tired of. So These are things that are like on covers or your typical things that show up in books that you are just done with. And honestly, I can just, I could list these off forever, but I just did the first five that came to my head, so. My number one is Insta Love. I feel like you should all know that this is my number one thing that I am just so done with. I don't understand why we can't have some more like slow burning love. Why is it like you look at them and it's like, I love you. I've just met you, but I love you. Like, no, don't work that way in real life. Like, sure, there might be a little bit of attraction, and it's like, damn, you fine, damn, you fine as well. Let's get to know each other, but it's not like, let's get in a relationship in two seconds that I just saw you, and we should make out right now. Doesn't happen. Like, I mean, it might, but, like, most most likely, it ain't happening. So, like, simmer down. Simmer down. The second trend that I see so often in books that I'm just so sick of... There's, like, two parts to this. First... I would like to say the whole inclusion of this is good, but the way that it's done is bad. I will, I will get to that. Second trend is the inclusion of gay characters literally just for the topic of being the gay best friend. Like, why? Why? It drives me crazy. Like, it's great that the author is including a gay character because we need more diverse characters. Diversity, you know, all that jazz. But why Why does it gotta be just for the purpose of being the gay best friend? Like, can't they be the main character? I mean, that would be nice. I'm just saying. That leads me to, like, the second part of this trope that I hate. Killing off the gay character. Why? Why you gotta do that? I just, I don't understand. I mean, like, there are so many other people you can kill. Why you gotta kill the gay one? I just, it makes me angry. Can't we just kill off the main character? I mean, like, that could be fun. Number three. I hate seeing female friendships where they hate each other but pretend to be best friends. And it's usually over a guy. Like, no guy is worth that much trouble. I just... Why, authors, why? Just why do you do this to me? Like, I just want to see some more, like, female-female friendships that are, like, strong. Like, Truth Witch by Susan Dennard. That's a great one. They're, like super close and they love each other and you know they love each other and they're not gonna let some stupid guy get in the way and it just drives me crazy I just no which second part of this second part we need more male male friendships that like they're not scared to show like affection to each other because it's like no homo and it's like why do you have to say that like you guys are friends you're allowed to like be bros like fist it up like it's this great fist pound it like it just drives me crazy I just need some more male friendships in my life I just Fourth trend that I'm just so done with in books is like the brooding mysterious bad boy. Like I like those types of guys when I'm reading, but then like the more I think of it, I'm like, why can't we have like more Levi's from Fangirl who are like little baby angel unicorns and so sweet? Like why can't we see that in books? Because honestly, when I'm reading these mysterious bad boys, I'm like, dang, I want a mysterious bad boys, but they always treat the girl like crap. And I am just so sick of the whole treat like crap trope, okay? I just, I don't need it. I'm so over it. I just, I need a man that's gonna treat me right, okay? And I need to see that in the book so I know I'm worth it. You know what I'm saying? Teenagers read these books and they're like, I want a guy like that. And then it's like, you're gonna be treated like shit. So, please find a Levi. I'm working on it. We're, we're working on the whole Levi thing. It's gonna happen one day. And then the last trend that I hate in books the fifth trope, whatever you want to call it, I hate novellas. <laughs> I hate them so much. Or like books where you're at this series and it's at like the eighth book and you're just like, Linda, listen, like the series is dead. Move on. We're done. Like we, we just need to get past this series. Write something else. It, got, it does nothing for the story. You're just, you're just trying to get more money. And I'm just, no, 
make something new that I can love as well. You know what I'm saying? Like the selection series by Kira Cast, the fourth and fifth book, they just weren't needed. Like, the fourth book, okay, fine, like, cool. We're learning about the daughter. But that fifth book, man, like, what was the point of that? You could have just combined the fourth and fifth book and made just a fourth book and it would have been equally... You know? You know what I'm trying to say? It would have been equal. It just would have worked out. And I'm just... No. Move on, Linda. Move on. Alright guys, so that was my top five Wednesday. I'm sure that it didn't make a lot of sense because I just kind of started rambling and ranting and uh, you can tell I don't script my videos, so <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm over it. I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!